Top 10 Harmful Foods That Can Be Found Tuna The mercury that the fish ingests is what makes tuna harmful. Mercury, once inside your body, is either intended to pass through your kidneys or move to your brain and make you insane. The FDA even advises against consuming any tuna at all while pregnant or even while nursing. While it is still doubtful that consuming a lot of tuna at once can take your life, it's a good idea to keep track of your weekly consumption. Rhubarb Take this as a friendly reminder to keep an eye on how much strawberry rhubarb pie you consume this summer. Why? Because rhubarb leaves contain oxalic compounds, which can lead to kidney stones, and they should not be used in baking or cooking. You would need 11 pounds of leaves to lose a life, but far less than that in your rhubarb buy to be seriously ill. It's best to stick to the stalk and exercise good judgment. Honey. It's a little known truth that pyrilizidine alkaloids, a harmful toxin, can be found in natural honey. To get rid of these toxins, they must be pasteurized after being produced because unpasteurized honey is exceedingly harmful. Unpasteurized honey can cause headaches, drowsiness, weakness, and nausea that can continue up to 24 hours after consuming just a spoonful of it. There's a chance that more than one teaspoon could be fatal. Potatoes. The potatoes leaves, stems, and sprouts contain glycoalkaloids, which are also present in nightshades. If left unattended for too long, particularly in the light, it might even accumulate inside the potato. Consuming glycoalkaloids can cause cramps, diarrhea, perplexing headaches, or possibly a coma and, ultimately, the loss of a life. There are claims that as little as 3 to 6 milligrams per kilogram of body weight can be harmful. You might want to skip potatoes that have a greenish tint. Cashews. The raw cashews you could get in the grocery store have been steamed to remove the toxin Aruchiol, which is also present in Posia ivy. As a result, they are not truly raw, similar to poison oak or poison ivy. This chemical has the potential to be harmful. Urushiol concentrations that are too high are allegedly lethal. Eating genuine raw cashews could result in a fatal allergic reaction in people who are sensitive to Po. Sun Ivy Cassava The leaves and roots of cassava happen to be surprisingly rich in cyanide. By this point, we might as well wish cyanide were the most delicious, sumptuous substance on the planet even if we had to succumb to enjoy a bite. However, there is certainly not much in the way of flavor, though. Cassava is actually a tropical vegetable originally from South America but has gained significant popularity in Africa, particularly for its juice, which can be fermented to produce a drink called piwari. Elderberries Elderberries are frequently used in jams, wines, and teas despite the fact that they sound a little unusual. All of this is remarkable, given that the cyanide-producing glycoside is present in harmful amounts in their seeds and leaves. When using fruit to produce jam or wine, if the fruit is not properly strained or is too unripe, you run the risk of experiencing severe nausea, going into a coma, or even losing your life. Even one cup of improperly brewed elderberry juice, wine, or tea can make you feel mildly ill, but it would take up to five glasses to put your life in absolute jeopardy. Cherries Cherry pits contain chemicals that human bodies convert to cyanide, as do the pits of plums, peaches, and apricots. However, those other fruits tend to have much bigger pits, making them more difficult to eat unintentionally. The good news is that you are extremely unlikely to become ill from ingesting them unless you manage to shatter open a cherry pit, which is already difficult enough as it is. The good news is that you wouldn't need more than one or two crushed cherry pits to take your life. Aki Fruit This island staple is a native to Jamaica, in fact, the Aki is the country's well-loved emblematic fruit. On the other hand, if not prepared properly, it can rank among the world's most harmful dishes. First of all, 
The fruit should only be eaten in its yellow portions, and those portions must be cooked to perfection. When making the aki, timing is much more crucial. It is possible to have Jamaican nausea sickness, which can lead to seizures and terrible hypoglycemia, by eating even a small amount of fruit that is either too ripe or not ripe enough. Red Kidney Beans While it's often regarded as healthful to consume foods raw, doing so can have some highly negative effects. The red kidney bean is one of these foods. Lectins, which are present in red kidney beans, are toxins that effectively destroy the cells in your stomach, which is not good at all. Red kidney beans must be properly prepared in order to be enjoyed without this toxic substance. This involves soaking the beans in water for at least 5 hours before ingestion. If you consume more than half a cup of uncooked red kidney beans, you risk becoming severely unwell.